it's probably wise not to suggest or not to hold in-person elections anywhere during a deadly pandemic where yesterday over a thousand people died in America, over a thousand deaths in America for the first time due to the coronavirus. You would think that this is a absolute no-brainer that we're not going to hold the Wisconsin primary on April 7th, five days from now. Well, if you thought that, of course, you would be wrong. Federal judge declines to postpone the April 7th presidential primaries in Wisconsin. A federal judge on Thursday declined to postpone Wisconsin's scheduled April 7th presidential primaries amid widespread worries that holding elections during the coronavirus pandemic could risk public health and curtail access to the polls. The ruling from U.S. District Judge William M. Conley means Wisconsin will remain the only one of 11 states originally scheduled to hold contests in April that has not postponed or dramatically altered voting amid a pandemic. However, in a 53-page ruling, Conley extended the deadline for absentee ballot to be received by local election officials by one week from, April, from 8 p.m. on April 7th to 4 p.m. on April 13th. Her, how, uh, his decision came after Conley told lawyers during an hours-long hearing Wednesday that he was disinclined to postpone the election without evidence that hundreds of thousands would see their voting rights curtailed, evidence that won't be available until Election Day, he said. At the same time, Conley rebuked lawyers for the Republican-controlled General Assembly, making clear that lawmakers and Governor Tony Evers are the ones who should have canceled the April 7th contest. Let's assume that this is a, dis a bad decision for the perspective of public health, and it could be excruciatingly bad, the judge said. I don't think it's the job of a federal district judge to act as a super health department for the state of Wisconsin. So, of course, the governor of Wisconsin, who, by the way, just like the governor of Ohio, technically, to the letter of the law, it isn't their decision whether to hold the primary. Uh, it's the state legislature's decision whether to hold the primary. But, but the Ohio governor, using his power as governor, uh, took means and said, well, I'm not going to honor the judge's ruling because a judge in Ohio ruled that the Ohio primary needed to go on. And he said, I'm going to disobey the judge's order as the governor of Ohio to keep the public hell, uh, safe. And he, he shut down the primaries as the governor because as your governor, there are – things you could do to protect public health. So the Wisconsin governor, of course, is, he, he could shut it down right now. He could say, I will not allow the poll, polling stations to be open. To hell with what the judge is saying. More importantly, Bernie Sanders has come out saying there should not be a primary, an in-person primary on April 7th. He has said there should not be a primary on April 7th. What does Joe Biden say about this? You know, listen to the experts, Joe Biden. What does he say about this, whether there should be an in-person primary during a deadly pandemic where over, over 1,000 people died yesterday? Over 5,000 have died. The numbers are going up hour by hour, day by day. You're seeing the horrible stories about, you know, hospitals needing to basically tell, tell ambulances coming. Sorry. We don't have any more room. Literally, patients coming in ambulances are being left there because there's no room, particularly in New York hospitals. They just had to make a makeshift hospital in Central Park because they're running out of space. They're having to bring extra tr refrigerators. I, I know this is horrible to even say, and it's who wants to hear about this, but they have to bring extra refrigerators to keep the bodies on ice. This is what we're dealing with right now. Joe Biden does not call on Wisconsin officials to postpone the Tuesday election. Quote, a convention having ten of, tens of thousands of people in one arena is very different than having people walk into a polling, poo polling booth one at a time. That's for Wisconsin courts to decide. He also said some in-person voted could... Some in-person voting could be safely conducted in Wisconsin with social distancing while urging people to request absentee ballots. A, Marque a Marquette poll found basically a 50-50 split when voters were asked if elections should go forward, big majority against having a convention. So let me 
bring you, you know, a quick trip down memory lane. You remember when Joe Biden, before Florida, was waxing and waning about the most sacred American right there is? State election officials are working closely with public health officials to hold safe elections. If you're feeling healthy, not showing symptoms, and not at risk of being exposed, please vote on Tuesday. Of course, at the time, this was reckless. He was literally going against CDC recommendations because as the CDC and Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Deborah Burke, which are Trump's uh, doctors at those press conferences, have been saying, Many patients and many people with coronavirus have no symptoms. So Joe Biden was tweeting out things like that, urging people in Florida, particularly older people who are his base, who are the most receptive and vulnerable to COVID-19. Hey, go out and vote. I need your vote. If you die, you die, but I need your vote. He was even running radio ads in Florida on the day of the primary. Continue Obama's legacy. Vote for me. You know, we'll, get, we'll, we'll make sure the oxygen tanks are there for you. And now, he is saying he's running to be leader of the free world, leader of the Democratic Party. But he doesn't, apparently doesn't understand right now is a moment for leadership for both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders to say, no, we're not having an election. There will be no in-person voting We don't know enough about this pandemic. We don't know every way you could get it. We don't know if masks are foolproof. As as we showed you and as people on Twitter showed you on the day of the Ohio primary, the Florida primary, the Illinois primary, social distancing is a nice concept. Amazon claims they're putting in provisions for social distancing. But the bottom line is when you have it, when you have elections in person, you have people waiting online. There is no way to have people six feet from each other waiting online. At most of the places, shamefully enough, in America, people are waiting online sometimes for three to four hours. So unless Joe Biden has a fireproof way where people are going to wait online six feet apart from each other, And as we saw in Illinois, Arizona, and Florida, a lot of polling places didn't have the necessary hand sanitizer, didn't have the necessary wipes, were missing sanitation equipment. And Joe Biden is literally saying, well, I'm not a judge, so, you know, I'll leave that to the courts. It's not like I'm the Democratic frontrunner and could exhibit leadership here, right? Listen what he's saying. State election officials are working closely with public health health officials. What are they working on? There is no way, absolutely no way to guarantee people are going to be six feet apart from each other. We don't even know if that's the real amount of space that people need. It could be more than that. Now there's reports that people could breathe it out. And if you pass somebody who has it that just breathed it, you could get it. We're going to have a one at a time. We're going to, okay, if we're having one at a time, people come in. Uh, Are you going to have enough poll workers there to make sure people are six feet apart waiting in line? So Joe Biden, to me, it seems that, all right, he's up 300 delegates. He's he's chicken. He doesn't want to debate Bernie. He said, "Ah, let's move on. We don't need more debates. He's, en- he's enlisting all his allies at CNN, MSNBC to shame Bernie. You know, Whoopi Goldberg is out there, you know, shaming Bernie on The View. This is reckless. Joe Biden, and I, I don't want to be dramatic here, but I'm going to be dramatic because this is not on Bernie Sanders. He has called for the no in-person voting. Joe Biden is literally willing to risk the lives of voters in order to win another primary, which he probably will win Wisconsin. That's another story we could get into. He's willing to risk lives to get another victory and further, with his media allies, try and shame Bernie Sanders to drop out. That's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to add to the pile of victories, make it so the chorus demanding Bernie drop out get louder, Demand, he, he's trying then to get elected officials 
to start getting louder against Bernie Sanders. They're going to then, if, he, if Wisconsin goes forward, if Joe Biden wins, they are going to then turn around and paint Bernie Sanders as the one risking American voters' lives by refusing to drop out, thus us having to continue holding primaries. That's exactly what's going to happen. But the reality is Joe Biden is the one. And I don't want to hear it from Michael Tracy, by the way. Michael Tracy, oh, but Jordan, Bernie Sanders' campaign manager during a live stream told voters to go vote on, uh, uh, in Ohio, Florida, and uh, Arizona. Yeah, I saw the live stream. He made a comment that suggested for people to go vote. He didn't urge people to go vote, and Bernie Sanders quickly shut him down. That's what I saw. Bernie Sanders' campaign on those days, Arizona, Florida, and Illinois, literally sent out text messages telling voters it's a personal choice. Not exactly a, a vibrant get-out-the-vote call, Bernie Sanders' campaign. And now he's saying these elections shouldn't happen in person. So Joe Biden, he don't give a shit. He's willing to risk people's lives to get another victory. And by the way, this isn't like my opinion. We already know that the decision to hold the Florida primary has already Two, two Florida poll workers tested positive for coronavirus. This was five or six days ago. I saw an article where a third Florida poll worker tested positive. But how do we track in Florida, in Illinois, in Arizona? How do we track how many other poll workers have been tested positive in those states? How do we track how many new cases of coronavirus in Arizona, Florida, Illinois? H how do we track if those new cases, how many of them contracted it the day they went out to vote in those states? There's no way to track it. But I would venture to guess there's a good amount of people that went out to vote that contracted coronavirus in those states, particularly in Florida, since, frankly, it's a lot of older folks. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.